everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Scientists have discovered a new target for an HIV vaccine. The target is the virus's fusion peptide, which HIV uses to fuse its membrane with that of another cell, allowing it to enter and infect the cell. By examining the blood of an HIV-positive person, the team identified an antibody designated VRC34.01, which can bind with the fusion peptide, preventing the virus from infecting another cell. The team is currently focusing its research on developing a vaccine to stimulate production of VRC34.01 and similar antibodies that would be capable of blocking HIV infection. This study is published in the journal Science, and its timing couldn't have been better. Over the weekend was Madness, Mayhem, and Charity, the annual fundraiser for the International AIDS Vaccine Initiative founded by my fellow YouTuber DevShell2. The live event ended Sunday night, but the Indiegogo page is still accepting donations. So if you have a few bucks to spare and would like to support the development of an HIV vaccine, the link is in the description of this video. Next up, an international team of researchers has created a remote-controlled, ingestible robot. The robot is designed to enter the body inside a capsule, which is swallowed by the patient. Once in the stomach, the capsule dissolves, and the robot unfolds itself like a tiny accordion. It's able to move around by stretching and contracting itself, and can be controlled magnetically from the outside. Potential applications for this robot include repairing wounds to the stomach and removing accidentally swallowed objects. The team, which is led by scientists from MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, or CSAIL, and also includes members from the University of Sheffield and the Tokyo Institute of Technology, has been developing similar so-called origami robots for some time. This new robot was presented last week at the International Conference on Robotics and Automation. And finally, new research has been published on a treatment that could improve quality of life for emphysema patients. Emphysema damages the air sacs, or alveoli, in the lungs, making it harder to expel air during exhalation, which means less fresh oxygen can enter the lungs during inhalation. This, in turn, leads to shortness of breath and limited mobility, since even simple exercises like walking can become extremely difficult. Nearly 3.5 million people have been diagnosed with emphysema in the U.S. alone. But a new study from the University of Pittsburgh may have demonstrated a way to make life better for some of those living with emphysema. Tiny coils implanted in the lungs via a minimally invasive procedure designed to compensate for the elasticity lost due to the disease. A three-year study of 315 patients from the U.S. and Europe found that patients who received the coils were able to walk farther than those without the coils and reported dramatically improved quality of life. It's now up to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to determine if the coils are ready for widespread use. The study is published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. Scientists discover a new HIV vaccine target, develop an ingestible origami robot, and improve the lives of emphysema patients by implanting tiny coils in their lungs. That's the good news. Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like it and share it and subscribe to this channel if you're not subbed already. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Yes. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.